Hi guys, so I have Dikosh in the studio with me and he's fresh out of prison. Not really fresh lah. Okay, but you still have the prison haircut. So we just assume it. he's fresh lah, okay? I'm keeping it. Okay, so today we are going to be talking about his story. Um, but before we start, as you guys know, yes, D and I are like close friends ah. So some of you may find that this interview is like biased or something. Yeah, but I will try my best to still ask all of the difficult questions, okay? I think before we go into the sort of interview uh, and the questions uh, properly, we should have a little bit of a summary of what happened first to give okay. people a clear idea of why we're even doing this and what happened to Dikosh. Okay, so D you also did a podcast like yeah. on your own. Uh, is it your, your own? Yeah, telling my own story. Yeah, uh. so it's on your Instagram, on like Rumble. Uh, it's on Rumble, but it's also on Spotify. Right, so he also did a little tell-all. It's like quite long, like 55 minutes. Mm. So if you guys want, you can go and listen to that. Uh, but today, just for those people who didn't watch his and are still confused, we will still do a brief summary a of recap. everything. Yeah, recap. Mm. So I think before we go into that, right, we should talk about the background of what happened first before even this whole saga blew up. Okay. Okay, so... First question, how was your sex life like <laughs> before everything happened? <laughs> so, like, D and I are close friends, uh, but I don't know much about his sex life. Yeah. In the past, people would always question, is he gay, is he not? Like, even among close friends, we don't really know. So, you were in the closet. I was very much in the closet. Right. I didn't even tell you. Yeah, no, like, I don't, no. I think you didn't. Um, no. And I didn't really ask, but there are some people who told me, yes, he is lah. Uh, but then I always see you on videos talking about like your ex-girlfriends and mm. stuff like that. So I'm just like, is he just pretending or what? like, yeah. Well, I guess the best way to say is like, I'm technically bi. Mm -hmm. So like all those girlfriends that I did talk about and all those experiences did exist. Mm. But it's just that I left out the part where there were guys um, in the situation as well. So you do like girls too? Yeah, both ways. Guy girl eh? like... At trans, the same time. Trans. Oh, I don't mind. I've never tried it, but I don't mind. Okay. Like, I'm so open I show you I like everything. <laughs> <laughs> so we are clear animals? No. <laughs> okay, very old people. I wouldn't say no to trying. Okay. Yeah, like it could be a thing. Okay, right? yeah, yeah, it could be uh, you know, Richard Gere, like a really Ooh, hot old person. Like okay. George Clooney. Uh, okay, yes. Mm, okay. So no, wait, but how was your sex life like? Okay, so before this whole Drama, so basically before 2020 lah, mm. right? It was very transactional, you know? So I got into the whole sugar babying thing, I would say, uh, 2015, 16. You rich enough to be sugar daddy at that time? At that time, not so rich yet. Uh -huh. Okay, so it was like just enough. And then, uh, as I became more successful and also became more busy, in a sense. Because mm. uh, you imagine uh, I was doing food king, mm. right? I was doing NOC videos, helping them out. Mm. I was doing radio. I was doing management for my boys. I was doing my own management. I was doing hostings You're outside. You're doing your own Instagram. Too. Yeah, it's, right. it's a lot. It was a lot. So I didn't have time for a proper relationship. So right. I think this sugar babying thing really made sense to me. So well, okay. Um, wait, when you say sugar babying, people have the impression that it's like sort of like having a like, little mistress or something like that. Yeah. You pay for their lifestyle. Like it's a... It's a paid transaction lah. Or is it like a one-time sex? Like I pay you one-time sex? No, no, no. Okay. It's, a, it's a relationship, So it's a I friend with benefits, occasionally have sex, but I pay you during that time. Correct. But other than that, are you like friends with them? Like yeah, you like until now. Like you care about them as a lover? Like uh, No, no, no. I don't okay. think there's emotions involved. Okay, okay. There's no emotions involved because I like I said, I had no time for like the, the love Okay, that's basically the more and... like a long-term prostitute, right? <laughs> right, okay. So, something like that. So the sugar baby, I would think that there is some form of love involved. Mm, like, no? You like each other. Like, yeah. you know, you're comfortable with each other, but it's not like a prostitute because prostitutes are like, you come, you have sex, and then you pay the person, uh -huh. and then... But you don't text every day, like, good morning? No, 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 baby, no, not like no. that, no. Okay. no. But okay. there is some sort of like, r rapport, I would okay, say. Okay, okay, in between okay. Each uh, other. In between a prostitute and a sugar, <laughs> what people have an impression of sugar baby, right? Okay. I guess. Something like that, okay. Yeah. So, so that that's what happened all the way till 2020. And no issues, like nobody was trying to expose mm -mm. you, nothing. Mm -mm. They, some of them are still in contact with you. Until now. Still having sex with you? No more, just friends. Okay, no, no money. Because no money. Oh no. Okay. <laughs> Can't they just give you a sympathy that's fuck? So sad. <laughs> when did you realize that you like guys too? Oh, in college. Okay. And when I was, oh, like 20? 1920? Around there. Like, I've always had that weird inkling mm -hmm. growing up, but I never really acted on it. Okay. Because my family is deeply religious right. and very conservative. So I was taught that it was wrong 
and it's against the Bible. Did you personally feel that? Oh way? yeah, yeah, yeah. At so, the time. Do you feel like you're a sinner for feeling this way? Were you at trying first, to convert? La, at first, like you, I remember the first time I had um, relations with a man, right? Mm. After I cried and oh, like dear. repented. I was so like, Ugh. Okay. But it wasn't until um, in college when I was a bit freer to do my own thing. And then I met this guy that sort of was the forbidden apple. But that's when I started like, you know what? What if I just explore this side of me? So I did so in the Philippines. Because mm. um, you realised that the, after the first blowjob, you didn't get smite. With was like lightning or something when you were yeah. like, you're like, okay, meh, maybe Jesus is okay with this, right? <laughs> like, that's not what I said, Jesus. That's not what I said. I'll okay. just say. <laughs> then when I came to Singapore, I felt like it was a new fresh start. In Singapore, I can let my free flag fly. Mm. You know? So that's when I became you more... Wait, wait, freak flag fly. Oh, okay. Yes. <laughs> so that one I was, that's when I was more open last. So I started going okay. to like Butter Factory. You remember Butter Factory? Yeah. had those gay nights. Yes. Yeah. And then like started meeting more guys. And exploring that side. But at the same time, I also always dated girls. Okay. So at that time, I also I was dating like Malay girls and Eurasian girls and like, yeah. you got something against Chinese people, is it? Like, why must specifically? Well, like... because honestly, I've never, there's only one Chinese girl that I dated. Mm-hmm. But we're still friends now. So to make things clear, by both sides and everything that I've said before about my girlfriends or the experiences I've had mm. is true. Mm. It's just that I never really talked about the guy side of things. Right, Even with right. my own friends. Okay. At that point, since you were having all these relations with people, were you like concerned that they would come out and out you? Honestly, when I was having these relations with these people, there was, you know, there's always that like, because I became more and more famous and right. started doing more and more things. There was that fear, right? Mm. Like, okay, if one of them does talk about me, right. like publicly outs me, what happens, yeah. right? Then in my head, I was like, but nothing wrong with it, ma. Yeah, then you just come out like that. Yeah, point. then at that point, I'm, no choice really, ma. I'm just say, okay, so this is a transaction we had. Um, and that's that, you know? And then right. I would have to come out of the closet, lah. Right. So that, in my head, that was the worst case scenario. Were you subconsciously trying to do things so that you come out of the closet? You, you So that you have a reason to come out of the closet? No, so you can be no I was very happy in the closet. Oh, okay. Like, I didn't really feel, like, a lot of people ask, like, mm. Why didn't I come out earlier, mm, you know, like mm. to stand up for the gay rights or whatever? Because I didn't feel the need to do so, number one. Number two, mm, my family... You, also, you didn't have a proper, like, boyfriend-boyfriend that you feel like, I no longer want to hide my boyfriend. You right, know? I like, guess. Yeah. I mean, so, that's a reason also. But I think the bigger reason is my family. family. Okay, now we go proper into the saga. So this was his sex life and all that. Like, mm. the, the side of D that none of us knew about. La. Like, I guess some very close friends maybe? No, no nobody no. knew. Nobody? So who is like the first whistleblower? Okay, and, and what did he say? Mm, okay. When was um, this? This was August 15, 2020. Okay. <laughs> I'm not gonna say his name. Okay. Uh, we'll just call him A. Person A. Mr. A. It's a guy, okay, right? Mr. A, yeah. Okay. Um he was alleging a few things, la. I mean, not only was he alleging that I uh proposed the proposal to him mm, you know, for the sugar baby him, thing okay, yeah. Yeah. Uh, but he was also saying that some of my talents at the time in on my channel uh, had slept with me to get on the channel mm. he was also saying that um, that I tried to that you still actually sleep with them on a regular basis I don't know whether he said that no, I cannot I confirm remember. Okay. Mm. Um, but he was also saying that um, I was calling him for like these video shoots, mm. overnight shoots that he he thought was sus, but the, in reality, they were actually video shoots. Okay. You know, like, these videos did come out in the end. Okay. You know, and I really did need him for a video shoot. Okay. So, is he a, is he a talent in your agency? So, at first, he, uh, he I wanted him to be mm. a talent. So, he was... So, what happens is, every year, during November, during my birthday, I will sign a new talent. That's mm. the, the way the Dikosh oh, thing works. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, so... Okay. Um, hey, that sounds very sad. Uh. That sounds why? like every birthday you're giving yourself a new toy boy. No, <laughs> not at all. It was just it wasn't even a birthday. It was just like November. Usually is the day. Okay, that. So okay. it will take. Usually it takes a year <clears throat> for me to find one. Okay. So what happens is me and my team we will sift through, and then there will be like four people left. Hmm. So out of these four people, I will talk to them personally. Right, right. Talk to them, see what they like, and then out of the four, I will choose one. Person hmm. A was part of that group lah, hmm. who wasn't chosen. And that's how we sort of got to know each other. Mm. Then after that, we had a cordial, I would say a cordial relationship. Okay. You know, like we kept talking. Mm. There were some things that he would post that I would be like, mm. then we'll have like little debates, per se. Okay. You know, and then um, out of nowhere, I remember this was a reaction to 
a video I posted. So I posted a video, you know, I used to do those TikTok reactions, yeah, yeah. right? So I did a TikTok reaction that I made fun of this one guy. Mm. So what happened was the night or the sometime before I posted that video, mm -hmm. I made a tweet saying that we need to stop giving this one guy clout. Okay. Because he's so weird. Okay. And we need okay. to stop encouraging him. Okay. And then when I made the video making fun of that guy, uh, person A thought it was hypocritical. Oh. Okay, so he posted and he said like, you know. I thought you said one give you less clout. Correct. Okay. And then the next post was, oh, B BT dubs, Dikash also sexually harassed me. Oh. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah. Okay, okay. And then all the other allegations came after that. Okay, okay. Mm. And he's referring to your chat with him. Correct. Okay. Where you proposed to I did. Pay I proposed him, to pay him. Pay him for sex. Mm -hmm. Right? Okay. And after the proposition, he said no. And then after that, were you still friends? Yeah. We still okay, had a so, lot of conversations after that. Okay. So yeah. he's normal. Unoffended mm. doesn't seem traumatized. Doesn't, at, at that point, la, I don't know what uh, was maybe going on in his life. Maybe it took him a year life. to be traumatized. Okay, but whatever. Mm. Okay, so at, after that, he was still fine. Okay, yeah. so then subsequently on August 15, like 2020, right? So he suddenly posted about you. Mm. So how do you feel when you saw that? Um, you still I, following him? I, will, I, I never followed him. Oh, but okay. we had an open DM. La. Okay, okay. I remember even texting him like when he posted. I was like, dude, dude like, is there anything the you want? No, no, no. It was like, is there anything you want to make clear first? Yeah. Before you go on this. Yeah. And yeah. then he didn't reply. Okay. He's so seen you. Uh. He just seen me. Okay. So that was it, Law. Then, uh, I mean, then I called you and asked you like, so what should I do? Mm. Um, that's when we decided to do the season this is. I did advise D at that yeah. point. I said if he is just talking rubbish, right? Like he's not saying the truth, then that's what you should do. La, because I felt that like at that point, it didn't go viral yet. Mm. Uh, but I felt that it will soon. And like, yeah, that's just the natural next step lah, mm. yeah. And at that point, to make clear, there were still a lot of things that weren't true mm. in the things that he said, like okay. me sleeping in my talents yeah. and stuff like that, you know? Yeah. So there were a lot of things that weren't true. So that's why I was at that point daring enough to say, okay, let's do the season this is Right, right, right. You but the, I mean? the true part, which at that point actually Dee didn't tell me, uh, I think he was still very scared of coming out of the closet and sort of admitting to people that he sugar babies people. Of course. Right. I mean, it's not a, it's not something you wear on your, your yeah, sleeves, you know? Yeah, it's a bit like, yeah. Yeah. So at that point, even, it's not just you, even Hirzi and some of my close friends, like at that point, it was just the like, person A. Yeah. I was trying to gatekeep it and like, okay, this is all that's going to come out. Right. Right. But right. then after that, I couldn't stop it. Lor, when mm. everyone else started coming out, then I was like, well, I'm dead. <laughs> <laughs> Subsequently, what happened? A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H made to a police report. Nine. Eight. Eight. Huh? Yeah. Fucking so weird. out of the A to Z, yeah. there's a lot, right? So like I said in my video, there were four types of people. Mm. The people who slept with me, mm. the people I wanted to sleep with but mm. didn't sleep with, the people I wanted as talents, there were people that I don't even know. Okay. Okay, so there were so many allegations. Mm. I think at that point, I was quite invested in the saga, obviously, because <laughs> it's my friend, right? But even I couldn't keep up with yeah, it. Yeah, it was It's a just lot. like, pam, pam, pam. And then on top of this, on top of that, right, all these are like Gen Zs, and they cannot like, properly like, write. So I was just like, very confused. And I remember, a few of them are actually very funny. Like, there was a guy who said that, you were abusing him because he had consensual sex with you. Yeah. You paid him. And then he said that after sex, right, like he was very hungry and that uh, all you offered him was a Mac Spicy. I thought that was a nice gesture. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, but it was a nice gesture. And, no, and yeah, yeah, you didn't have to offer him any food. You can say your job is done, fuck off. It was consensual. He is not underage. Mm. And but he decided to come out and say his piece because he said D was exploiting him because he was poor at that time. Uh, so the poor I help you lah. But I didn't know he was poor. That's the thing. Like oh, you know, it's right. not like I'm targeting poor people. How dare you target? You poor know what I mean? Like it's not like okay. there's a list online that then really shows. Then he's so poor, you still only treat him as spicy. You really see by it. But at least it's one of the more expensive burgers. You never say like, okay, here's a hamburger. You like, <laughs> fuck off. 
I just have to say that that was nice. I was just trying to be nice. But yeah, so like stories hey, like you that. You know what? That is proof that you don't have anal sex because you talked about it in your yeah. podcast. You say you don't like to have anal sex. No. So if you do, then a Mac Spicy is not very productive. <laughs> not very productive. Not very productive for <laughs> anal sex. Why do you think actually all of them decided to do this? Like suddenly stand up against you and like just be like a solidarity? I would like to believe that they believed it was the right thing to do to stop you to stop me from from offering money to young boys offering money full stop i guess really because there were some of them that were 21 23 oh, in, right. during the police reports you okay, know what i mean so okay. i think i think because there were so many it just made me look like a predator in a mm, sense mm. So they, they wanted to stop the predator. Okay, and I think some of them actually felt that you were using your power, like Harvey Weinstein, to yeah. entice people to join your channel. La. But this is something that you have always been very firm about. Very clear about. In fact, like, um, I just want to let you know that I didn't tell her to, like, th- these questions are her. I never, like, I have no input in them. No, no, he totally wrote yeah. the script. Um, <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Uh, I, there was this one, and one guy, right, mm-hmm. that I slept with, like, two times. Mm. And then the second time I slept with him, he was like, So does this mean I'm going to your channel? Oh, wow. And then I said, No. Oh, wow. Like, no. I'm like, The two things don't cross. Right. You know, I've always I mean, been if, clear about that. No, if I want start. you to be on my channel, why am I even paying you? Right. Like, yeah, if, 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 your, price, really, mm. if your price is to be on my channel and I make you famous, why the $1,000? Then you pay me, ah. Yeah. Right. You suck my cock, then you still pay me a bit, then I make you famous. <laughs> Right. I guess. So there were a few there were a few of them like that and that's why I don't talk to them anymore. Okay. Because to me I want the 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 clarity of the line has to be very clear. Okay. You okay, know, it okay. needs to be like this is my personal life, this right. is my private life. Right. You are part of that private life. I see, I see. If you would like to be part of the public life, then you cannot be part of that. Okay, but I life. can understand where like Mr. A thinks that there is a bit of a blur because yeah. he was considered he was, to be a at talent. first, yeah. Yeah, but when you Offered him money for mm. sex. Did you give him the impression that if he fucked you, he would no, be on the channel? No, definitely no. Okay, okay. No impression. It was a totally separate. But he himself separate. thought inferred. that it was. I okay. guess he inferred, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Mm. What do you feel when you, like, you know, you saw that all these, like, the boys, they were, like, kind of taking pictures together, calling themselves victims, and like, you know, went to report police together, take pictures, commemorate the whole thing, and they created a emoji just for the, uh, it's hashtag white colour heart shape emoji. Uh. So it's like, you know, victims of the kosh then. <laughs> how do you feel about that? I didn't know how I felt. Eh. I cannot remember. I was so numb. Yeah, I think you were just I was so numb. I was just like, la. what's going on? Why are they doing this to me? And mind you, many of these people right. that reported me to the police still had like we still had a proper like yeah, I thought we were like, friends right, yeah, you know what okay. I mean like okay la it sounds stupid and it sounds fucking horrible that I offered money and then after that when they said no we are still friends you know because I thought right. that I don't know because I thought that if you are cordial with these people they wouldn't do this to you oh you know what I mean so that's why I remain cordial with them I don't know if I'm gonna get hate for this because people think that they are victims and they are young but it just really, it irks me a lot when people keep going on about, why don't you think about the cautious victims? Why are you still friends with him? You know, like, what victims? What fucking victims? Like, to me, like, it's an insult to the word victim because a victim means that you have suffered in some form, be it mentally or physically, from someone hurting you, right? And... Where is the hurt when he has offered money? They rejected. He has never physically touched these boys. I don't I don't like it when people play this kind of card, like play the victim card when you are not really a victim. Like people who are real sexual assault victims, sexual harassment victims, rape victims, they it's an insult to what they went through by calling yourself a victim and claiming that you need like, you know, courage to stand out against this monster and whatnot. Yes, he was wrong for you know, sending the cease and desist when he in fact did a part of what mm. the guy said you did lah. And I think in that sense, maybe people can see as being you're being a bully and you're trying to shut people down. Um, but to say victim is a bit of a stretch, I think. 
And when they are all posting these pictures together, clearly they want people to repost it. They want to be known. They want to be famous. Uh, they're tagging each other. And it's just very... To me, it's a bit distasteful. I don't like it. Like, so I'm just like, I'm trying so hard to be famous, you know? Like, and it's at the expense of my friend. Lah. So yeah, that, that's how I feel. Lah. Yeah. I think it's just, it just sucks because they never did. The what? Like, even nowhere. Like, even what? Like, <laughs> like, this is a very weird, like, like, if today there are successful influencers, right. at least I can say like, okay. Okay, what? My cancellation gave you the, the platform. But like, I got cancelled, I lost everything. Uh-huh. But they're also not famous. You know, like, no one yeah, I won. I don't remember their name. You know what I mean? Like, nobody won. Mm. In this situation. Literally nobody won. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I mean, okay, I mean, they won lah. Okay, somebody won. La. Who took your seat in the 97? Tabitha Nelson. Oh, there she won. Power 98 lah, power 98. Oh, by power yeah. 98, sorry. Yeah. She won. Mm, she won. She won. She won. There was she a vacancy won. and she took it. Yeah. Okay. What, I mean like, I guess some people would say, you know, like the boys, they are like kind of brave for exposing you because... The idea is that you are a predator, you are offering money to people for sex and some of them are like under age, right? Mm -hmm. Like they're young. And like, even though you didn't succeed with these boys, they must do their job to expose you because otherwise you could have succeeded with somebody else. Mm. What do you have to say about that? I'm not targeting young boys. Okay. You know, like I said in my video, I'm not outside the secondary school just waiting and then, you know, <laughs> like, creepy, yeah. you know what I mean? Uh -huh. Like, I'm not a pedophile. I'm not waiting to... to see which is the young, like I would go Instagram like, mm. Mm, 20 to old. You know, it's, I'm not that type at all. You know, mm. uh, these guys uh, didn't have their ages. Mm. I thought they were attractive. I talked to them, then found out their okay, age. Okay. You know, so they're, for lack of a better word, they're like an anomaly in okay. the, you know, like these, uh, this is it. This group of people are probably the youngest I've approached. Right. You and know then what I mean? when they gather together and it becomes public, then it just... It looks like, oh. Okay, okay. These are the only ones he approached. Because the people that I did sleep with, they're not going to talk why. Mm. You know what I mean? They're just going to be like, oh shit. 16 is the age of like consent, right? Mm -hmm. So, but you have to be 18 and above. If it's commercial. If it's commercial, meaning I cannot have sex with a 17 year old if I offered him money to have sex with me. Correct. Right. But I can fuck him if he's just willing to fuck me for no money. Correct. Yeah. Right. Mm. And I didn't know that. And, and in fact, a lot of people didn't know that. Right. There are a lot of people out there who say like, yeah, really, man, you didn't know, man. I'm like, yeah, I really I didn't think know. most people don't know. I didn't know there was such a law. I was mm. quite stunned by it. Yeah. Like, yeah. So, hmm. okay. So now that you know, would you still have sex with like a seven, <laughs> like 18? Uh? Must see sing pass. Now it's on your phone. Oh, right. On okay. your phone, see the sing pass. And I'm not, I'm not even joking. Like, you know, I mean, yeah, I, 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 I did meet some people now you Recently, see a, a 18 year old can't even get it hard already. I, I see a, like there was this 25 year old, oh no, 26 or 25 year old that I met. Hmm. And he looked 35, you know, but okay. I'm like, I'm so sorry. I just need to see your IC first. Oh dear. Like, you know, I'm just a bit afraid because right. you, you never know. Yeah. At what point did you feel like this whole thing was fucking like just out of control already? Like, you know, because I am also like being cancelled sometimes, right? At the start, it was just like, maybe it's going to be fine. And then mm -hmm. at some point, it starts to snowball and it's mm -hmm. like, okay, it's going fucking viral. Mm -hmm. Okay, the comments keep coming in. Mm -hmm. They're really bad. Like, and at the what news point, articles comes out. Those are, yeah. So at what point do you feel like, okay, barbecue la. <laughs> You know? <laughs> Why you don't know the song? What's barbecue love? It's, no, it's not barbecue love. It goes like, one love, one love, one love, barbecue love. <laughs> it means like you're dead la, Like dead. GG moment right. la. Like, how, wh when did that happen? I think that happened when I wrote my statement and I realized that there is nothing I could write right. that would explain everything. Okay. That's, That's what I knew. Barbecue. <laughs> you know what okay. I mean? Because usually, I don't know about you, but usually I'm, I'm okay. Like, for example, if, let's just say, if the sugar baby thing came out uh, without everything else, right. it would be very simple to address. Right. Right? Like, yes, I was a sugar baby. Yeah. Yes, I was wrong for talking to a 17-year-old. Yes, yes. It's against the law. I'm sorry, I will never do it again. Right. But even then, because it has legal implications, I don't think you should have Correct. Came out to say you know, it. and even then also, if I say that, then they'll be like, then how about a 15 year old? Okay. You're like, oh, how about this the Max Spicy guy? Okay. You know what I mean? So there was so much. I think okay. And it's so hard to just put it on <laughs> statements. So that's when I knew I was like, yep. Barbecue. Okay. Uh, I think personally for me it was 
when clients started calling. Like, mm. cause in the past, you know, controversies, you just deal with the hate yeah. and it will just blow over. But when clients started to call and say, what is going on? Mm. We need to write a statement. Mm. We're dropping Wendy. Mm. Then it was just like, okay, it started to have real consequences. Right. Me, right? Not that the uh, the hate and all that is nothing, you know, it, mm. it is horrible. Uh, but it, it's just, this one is a bit different. Yeah. Like, it gets know? more real, uh, mm. in a sense. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I think we need to talk, since you talked about the uh, 15-year-old, we mm. should talk about that. Like, mm. yeah, can you just go over that whole story, what happened? Um, so... One of the on Grindr, uh. yeah, on Grinder, he was he's the accusation basically is that I had asked him for paid sex when he was fifteen. Right. Um, it, I, as far as I recall, okay, because this is the only case where there are conflicting mm. stories. As far as I recall, he was on Grinder. Um, he had the emoji of the you know the money emoji. No. So it's like an emoji with the tongue out, the money, money, money. Okay. Okay. So usually, also usually on gay apps, anything you put money on it means you're down for paid stuff. Okay. Okay. Uh, I remember messaging him grinder, asking him if he would be down for it. He said sure. Then I revealed who I was. Okay. And if I'm not wrong, he said I don't believe. Okay. Then I said okay, I'll message you in my Instagram. Okay. So I moved to Instagram. Hey, you stupid or what, yeah? I mean at that point because he said okay, Rudima. Yeah, but like he he could be anyone waiting to expose you. Uh. Well, I, at that point. Okay. To me, you're, you're, you're 18. Just, okay, you, you're You're honey. supposed to be 18, okay. ma. Like, yeah. You know what I mean? You're a grinder, ma. Yeah. Okay, fine. So I went to Instagram and then I saw that he was 15. Okay. I was like, oh shit. Like, okay. he's 15. Then I asked him, like, you, you're 15? And he said, yes. I was like, ah, oh, fuck. Like, mm. in, my own, in my own head, I'm like, how do I back check out this? Mm. I can't. So uh, we had a conversation. I why didn't you just go like, him. if you are 15, why are you on Grindr? I'm not interested in this guy. I know, I should have. I should have just cut it off right away. Yeah. You know, but I didn't. Because in my head, my first defense mechanism was just be cardio. Okay. And nothing will happen. Okay. Uh, so cardio, 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 and then... But you didn't continue to offer him the money, right? No. Anyway, he said no, right? He, Did he say no? He said yes on Grindr. Oh, he said yes on Grindr. Yeah. So I got okay. charged for, for proposing. You wouldn't have sex with a 15 year old, would you? No, never. Okay. Never in my life. Most of the time, I think being social media influencers, people don't really see. Like, they always say like, oh, you're so strong, stand up to hate comments. Okay, that's true. But we also build up our strength from seeing good comments. So if you see a uh, hundred positive comments and you get 10 bad ones, it doesn't feel so bad because you think, well, these 10 people are just crazy, mm. right? And they just hate whatever they want to hate. Like, I, I cannot help them because they're, they're mad. Like, I'm not the mad one. You are the mad one. But when you get 10,000 bad comments and they are all asking you to go and kill yourself and that you have no value in this world, you're worthless, we all hate you, we all hope you die, we hope, hope your whole family die, mm. you know? And they, because the hate is so strong that even the people who like you, they don't dare to post anything and then... In contrast, there's no good to balance out the bad. And it, you start to think, how can 10,000 people be wrong about me? Mm. Like, I must be a bad person. Yeah. And I must be worthless. And nobody would care if I die. So maybe I should really just go and die. You know? And plus, I'm feeling like shit anyway. So I'm just Have gonna, you ever thought about it? Uh, mm, I mean, like, maybe a fleeting thought. Lah, but like, not... Not to the point where I actually, you know, like holding the knife and thinking about it. No, oh, I've thought about it. Like, yeah. it wasn't a fleeting thought. Like, it was... Yeah. I would, I would think, like, in my head, it's like, it's, it's easier for everyone. Right. It's easier for my family. It's easier for my friends. You know, it was it's just removing the problem. Lo. The, only, the only thing that kept me going was really... I didn't want to die a pedophile. Right. I didn't want to die. It's okay to die, but don't die a pedophile. Yeah, you know, like, if I die, I want to be able to tell the world and tell all these people, like, say what you want about me. The truth is, I am not a pedophile. Right. Then die. Okay, okay, yeah. okay, okay. That, are you going to die now? No, 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 no. Okay, my brain this, is a different place. He has this balcony, like, area <laughs> that is, like, it's very nice. outside his office. It's very nice. That, like, is great for committing suicide. <laughs> It really is. Like, I see, I was just oh like, fuck. God. No, because he was in his whole thing and he's... Um, actually, to be fair to you, when I see you, you are not like fucking sobbing all the time and like being super mopey. You're yeah. actually still quite cheerful, happy. You know, like... But I know you're going through a lot of inner struggles. Mm. It's just that you're still an extrovert in the sense that when you see other people, you still put on this mm -hmm. like happy, happy act, right? 
Uh, but I saw the balcony, I was just like, don't commit suicide here. I know it looks very tempting. <laughs> But no, no, I never did lah. Like, but I, I mean, those like, thoughts... I was just like, don't even go near it. <laughs> <laughs> those thoughts did come. Yeah. But they went. So, speaking of the pedophile topic lah, since a lot of people have been asking me also, like, I am one of the loudest, like, people against pedophilia. I yeah. really, really hate it. And like... It's gross. Yeah, it's fucking disgusting. So, you know, like, people have asked me, why are you still friends with D? Like, he's mm. a known pedophile and stuff like that. Um... It, just, it actually really hurts me when I hear people call you that. Like, it's just... It's such a horrible name to call mm. someone. And anyway, so... It's part of your court order to go and do a pedophile test. Those two. Yes. Yeah. yeah so, you did one. Uh, first one and then second one, right? Mm. So, I remember you told me I had to do this test. And I said, like... Uh, are you concerned about the results? Like, what if you are not, but somehow the test test that you are, then you are really... Particular, mm, mm. right? So, like, what were your feelings before you did the test? Because I remember you told me, I'm very confident. Yeah. I'm okay to do it. I was not afraid at all. Okay. Because I'm, like, I'm that sure that I'm not. Okay, okay. You know what I mean? I was like, I went in, and I mean, they asked you a set of questions. Mm-hmm. I answered all of them truthfully, and mm-hmm. there was no, like, hesitation. I was mm-hmm. like, nope, this is it, this is that, this is this. Is How that. are the questions like? I think a lot of people are curious about it. How, okay, so how the are... questions are, they will range from talking about your childhood, Right. Uh, talking about your sex life. Talking yeah. about what kind of porn you watch. But right, I can just lie, right? I know, uh-huh. I know. But I have a feeling and I don't know how this works. Psychiatrists mm-hmm. would need to say. But they are not looking at your answers. They are looking at how you answer. Oh. And they are actually watching for more things than what you think they are watching for. Okay. I have a feeling lah. Okay. Because the questions are like very simple, you know. Like things like, okay, like for example, uh, let's ask you, okay. Uh. They'll be like, oh, do you like Milo? Uh-huh. You like Milo? You like cold, hot? Uh, I like Milo. Oh, that's nice. Uh-huh. That's nice. Do you like drink Milo when you watch movies sometimes? Sure. And they'll scream through. Oh, that's nice. That's nice. So the kind of porn you watch, is it child porn? Mm. And stuff like that, you know? Okay. And then they will see like how you react to that oh. and stuff like that. So I think it's not so much what you answer, it's uh-huh. how you answer. And they're really watching like your mannerisms and... Okay, okay, and, okay. Yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah. And, we, and then they talk to your family mm. also. But it's not all direct questions, right? Like, you know, like... Uh, do, do you get hard like uh, seeing a child No, no, no. It's not, that, it's not that okay. hard. But they will ask you things like, you know, do you... Irrelevant things also have. Uh? Irrelevant things also have. Okay, okay. Irre- okay. Or do you see out of this like ink block that kind? No. Don't have not uh? that oh, okay, type, okay. no. It's really just like, what kind of porn do you watch? How much okay. porn do you watch? What do they ask parents or how would the parents know? Like, uh, I don't know what they ask my parents. Okay, okay. I don't okay. know what they ask like, my parents. Hmm. What do you feel when you were like being cancelled? Everyone was sort of talking about Eden Ang versus you and mm. you're such a hypocrite because you know, you called him out yeah. for his thing and then now you are also like sex-related, yeah. like rape-related things, whatever. Not yeah. rape. Because people say rape, no? The one person, but it was never in the charges. Right? My case and his case were very different. Mm. Okay, my case was I talked to 17-year-olds because I didn't know they were illegal at the time. Mm-hmm. You know, offered them. They said no. I said, okay, swa. Mm. Never talked to them again. There was okay. no grooming. There was no harassment after the, mm. the day of proposition. Okay. For him, it was a bit different because he hired this girl mm-hmm. as a PA. Yeah, she was Forgot legal. Already, yeah, uh-huh. she was legal. Mm-hmm. She said no, mm. and yet he still touched her. Right. The second thing I want to say is a lot of people call me a hypocrite, right? Right. A hypocrite would have to have known they were doing wrong mm. and then call Eden out. Mm. Am I right or wrong? Yeah, yeah. Right? Yes, yes, yes. You didn't. Feel I like didn't it. know I was doing anything wrong. Okay. You know, a lot of people say, yeah, sure, the hard, up to you to believe. Right. You know, like at that time, the sugar babying thing to me, there was no law against it. Okay. All of them, my sugar babies were happy. I was happy. I was earning money. They were earning money. It was an adult transaction. Full mm. stop. Mm. There was nothing wrong with it. So mm. I didn't see anything wrong with calling out Eden Ang or SG Nasilama because those were clearly against the law. Right. With Eden Ang, case-wise, the mm. biggest difference was consent. Mm. You know, like he said no, he still went for it. Mm. You know? Uh, and that's also and number two I don't find it hypocritical at that point because I didn't know I was doing anything wrong okay but what do you think about the fact that like now that you are being accused of many things of which you some of them are not true Mm. right and everyone is cancelling you for it the same way that Eden Ang is cancelled why didn't at that point you give him a benefit of doubt? Because now that you go through this thing would you have given him a benefit of doubt that maybe those girls were not speaking the truth yeah 
I mean, I think during that time, I remember calling him out and I gave him a few questions. I answered these few questions. Right. Right. And he didn't. Mm. And eventually also he never came back. Yeah. I yeah. I would like to still think that there is two sides of the story. Yes. Um, but he seems like he doesn't want to tell it. But now now that you you gone through this, I wouldn't wish this on anyone, lah. Would you Would you gone back in time? Would you Would you have still? I would have reached out to him, right, and been like, "Yo, if you want to clarify anything, right, I would happily give you the platform to clarify anything." And if he doesn't reply you, you still post the same thing. Yeah. When did the police get involved? Um, three months after the initial allegations. Hmm. So at that time, I didn't know, like, they won't tell you, like, hey, we're investigating you or right. anything, you know. It's just, uh, I saw in the news that investigations have started. And oh. then in October, so August, September, October, hmm. and they came to arrest me. So you saw the news that the police going to get involved? Like, mm-hmm. investigations have started when? Mm-hmm. When the news came out, lah. Like the news is when, lah. I don't remember. Oh, like, like immediately after. The August in August, lah. Oh, in August, yeah. lah. Okay, and like how how did they get involved? Like come down, ask you to go down for a statement or like mm, what? Yeah, so they they came down to my house. There were like a lot of them. It was quite a lot. Of Wait, them. what? They came to your house. Yeah. They didn't call you and no, say no, no, come no, down because no, no, no. normally that would be the case. No, but... I think that's the case on like minor, like like not so bad oh. cases. So this one is like. How did they let so me long? Run, they... That what? Huh? You could have ran a thousand times. Yeah, uh, I don't know. Whatever it was, okay. they came down. I would say there's like ten to fifteen of them. What time? Uh, early morning, eleven a.m. Did you wake up already? 10 no, I was sleeping. Then my dad woke me up. He's like, "The police are here." Okay, but and you I were mentally like, oh, prepared that this is gonna happen, no? I knew it was gonna happen, but I don't know what was gonna happen. Right, you didn't. So you didn't expect people to come to your house, lah. Yeah. Okay, so um, how was it like? So they came. Uh, they said, "Okay, we need to. You understand why we're here." Right. Um, we need to take anything that can store data. So the CPU was gone. My brain. I wish my okay. brain. Uh, <laughs> How many police? Uh, about ten to fifteen. I said. Ten, uh, ten, huh? ten, so there many. There was a lot. There was okay. like people standing at the ha- the door just okay. so that I won't run. People downstairs. The van was. Maybe wasting resources there. Eh? Yeah, mm. but they just because I think usually people run. Some no. People, yes, I been to jail. People run. From the house. Yes. Okay. They run. Okay. Uh, so they just wanted to be sure that I wouldn't. Okay. Right? I was so fat at that time. Like, yeah. <laughs> there's no way I'm gonna run. Um. So they took uh uh my hard drives, my CPU. Were they mean to you? Like they were not. They were very professional about it. Okay. I think if I would have like, hey, why are you here? Then they would have to show oh, force. Okay. Okay. But I wasn't. I was very like, okay, what do you guys need? You brush your teeth or not? No. You still in pajamas, ah? Yeah, I was in my shorts and t-shirt. Okay. Okay, so um. They didn't even allow me to shower, you know. They were like, you just change and come. But at least, okay, they let you change lah. Yeah. Then you change, then you're going to brush your teeth, what? Right? No. No, they, they, they were like right outside my door. Like, can't like you say, just let me brush my teeth lah, at least. Like, I don't know whether I did. I'm eh. very, like, icked up by the fact that you didn't I brush your remember. teeth. I can't remember. I can't remember if I did. It was a blur. And then they drove me to the cantonment. In no cuffs lah. No, no cuffs. And then, but when I got out of the car, mm. that's when they put the cuffs on me. Mm. And then I went up. Can people see that you were in cars when you were walking? No, because no. Cantonment you go underground, okay, so it's not okay. really no okay. one can see. Okay. So uh, then there was a good like 10, 11 hour questioning. Wow, um, so long. Yeah, it was very long. I went there around twelve, eh, 11, 12 mm-hmm. p.m. Mm-hmm. Um, and then I came out ten a.m. Ten a.m. Yeah, but no, but so the question actually I don't know how long the questioning was because you're just in that room. Right. And then after that, you go straight into lockup. Okay. Okay. Then that's when my dad had to come and bail me out. Right. And that's when I got out of lockup, whereas I was on bail already, lah. Yeah. So at that point, the investigation was still going on, but at that point, how it was much was like your bail? I think if I'm not wrong, I could be extremely wrong. It was twenty thousand dollars. I think I remember it was twenty thousand dollars. But the thing about Singapore is you can give you IC. Okay. So an IC. I could be wrong, but if I'm not wrong, it's fifteen thousand dollars. It's worth fifteen thousand dollars. Oh, okay. So my dad had to just technically pay surrender. up five k only. Oh, okay. So he surrendered his IC and then and then five k. He, he he forked out that money or yeah okay. in cash. How do you feel when this whole thing happened in front of your father? Embarrassed, um, but also very thankful. Right. Um, I think how my family reacted. Like I said in my video, I'm so fucking proud of them. You know, I would imagine many families to react the opposite. Right. They were... I remember 
I guess I'm gonna tell this story. When it all came out, the first thing I did was I ran away from home. Right. Like the first night. Because it happened at night. Like this whole thing blew out at night. Yeah. I remember I had my friend with me, Sitang, you know her. Mm-hmm. Um, we, I drove home because I stayed at a car. Yeah. Drove home, took my things and went to a hotel to stay. Right. Because I knew they were going to throw me out. Because the moment they wake up, the news will be out. Right. You know, so they found out via the news. Okay. And you were just out of contact from everyone at that yeah. point. And then uh, I went to a hotel, then I got an Airbnb, mm-hmm. a place to stay, and then I went to that place mm. and just sort of hid from everyone, mm. you know? For how long did you have? Three days? Three days? I, I got it for a week, but I was only there for three days because on the second night, from around the third night, they called me. Mm. And then my family called me, and I was in tears, la. I was like apologizing, you know, I'm sorry that all this is happening. Mm. And I know you don't want to go, me to go home. Mm. And I know Hirzi was there. He was outside that room. La. I was yeah. in the room alone. Right. And um, why do you? Why were you so sure that they wouldn't want you to go home? Because they are deeply... But they also love you a lot though. I mean, I have seen you interact with your family. And like, if you had asked me at that point, like if what from what I see now, like I don't think they would show you. I don't know lah. Uh-huh. That was just my initial reaction. Okay. Because, okay. you know... And plus you were embarrassed. Yeah, so and there were a lot of things that have been said in my family about mm. homosexuality and queerness. La, right. That um, would have pushed me to run away from home. So I that, think it's not just so much of the queerness. It's also... The you know, sugar pain, baby. Yeah, and and they are young. Yeah, yeah, and it's yeah. a lot. La, it's a lot. Yeah. And they found out on the news, you know. Right. And so, I remember that conversation with them on the second night. My... Mm. That's I mean, super dad, awkward. Uh. My dad picked up the phone and said, and this is the one that really got me. He was like, I need you to come home. Like, I know you have your lawyers there, you have your PR people there, you have your friends, but what you need now is your family. Aww. That's when I totally broke. I was like sobbing like I've never sobbed before. Their journey is their journey, but I'm sure that they went through their own pains and yeah. shame. Yeah. You know? It must have been yeah. really, really hard for them. Yeah. Yeah, which is another reason why I didn't kill myself la, and I cannot die a pedophile because mm. my family how? Right. You know what I mean? Right. Yeah, so I needed to be sure to come out and tell my story. No, I'm encouraging you to kill yourself. La, but mm. I mean, if you like die a pedophile, then at least you have penance, ultimate penance for your crime. I think after that, they will be free. Because like, what else can yeah, people but they say? Will, like, yeah, but they will always be the parents of a pedophile. Oh, that's true. La. You know what I mean? Yeah, like, yeah, I also sucks. don't kill yourself. La. Okay. And yeah. don't go to that balcony. Yeah, no. Okay. <laughs> they were just there for me in a way that... It was... Divine. <laughs> but like a better word. Okay. Yeah, they were really there for me all the way. And I'm forever going to be grateful for that. Well, you're very lucky that you're very supportive. Very lucky. Family. Yeah, I yeah. think... That's like super, super important. Yeah. Um, if not, the balcony I use really. Okay. Honestly, like honestly, like if... Right. You really would have chosen... I really would have chosen, not this balcony, but some, oh. some balcony somewhere, okay. you know? Was it very jealous, your financial like situation? Like, yeah. Really, like, but you were still fat, so you clearly were still eating. No, I was fat because I was eating so much like nonsense food. Like cheap Like ass. cheap food, okay. you know? And like, for example, Thai Peng, right? I yeah. ordered two rice and then one meat. Oh, shit. Because, it's, because at that point... <laughs> Stop laughing. Why are you laughing? You're that fat. No, because at that point, like, it's not about the food and the taste anymore. It's about feeling myself up for the day. Oh, right. You know okay. what I mean? Okay. So it's like, just as much carbs I can get, just get it in so that you're not so hungry in the day. Right. You know? Yeah. And yeah, you did also bad. mention to me once that like, like, when you eat, right, that is literally the only joy that you get the whole yeah. day or something. I said like, it's the only happy thing that have like, yeah, like so I didn't stop eating. That's why I became so fat. Like it was just, like right. it's the only happiness I have. Yeah, because yeah. I tried. I, I tried asking you to stop eating because he was like ballooning. And there was this embarrassing. Oh my god, there was this embarrassing point of time where you were with me, and then you were like, "D, can you order curry to rice?" Oh my god, yes. <laughs> what the and he fuck? was like, "I mean, I, I, I don't. It's not like I send my bank statements to my friends. You know, it's not like I'm like, hey, Siash, I only have fifty dollars left this month. You know, I just keep quiet about it. I try to live." Yeah my life as normal as possible. You didn't borrow money from me. La. I didn't, you know. Right. Uh, so, 
we were hanging out and then you were on the way and then you said it was hey, can order to the peng. office yeah so yeah, like, yeah. Order kali peng. then I was like uh, sure then I ordered kali peng. okay and then she arrived she's like what my fucking kali peng? I was like yeah, I was haven't hungry. come haven't come yeah. haven't come and then she, we were doing our thing and then she was like Chibai, what's my fucking kali peng? then I was like coming then I went to check the app and it said not enough balance <laughs> to order kali peng. yes that is how I knew at that point that this guy is really fucking poor. <laughs> and I was like, okay, never mind. I'll, it was like, what, $25? I'll... Or no, less. $20? You can't remember lah. It's but... just curry pong, so it's very cheap yeah. lah. I don't know what the fuck. I can't remember. I was so I say, like, I was, my ego was just a big hit. <laughs> yeah. I think it bad. cannot be any worse for you. Yeah. From now on, if, even if you lie outside on the floor, you don't even have to be embarrassed anymore. Honestly. Because, like, what else can be worse? <laughs> like. Yeah, but I mean... I don't know if you're comfortable in saying me saying this, but you know, there was a time that Wendy, for the the goodness of her heart, did send me money la. Mm. And you know, um, not only her, but a few other friends of mine did send me money. And you know, I, I don't want to say who because like I said in my video, if I say who, then they also gonna attack. Oh, I don't mind you say, oh. You know what I mean? But it makes me sound good. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a great friend. Yeah, uh. But yeah. I think that the text that you sent me after that was just like, what the hell? Like, what did so, I say? Okay, so I... One day, I was just driving. It was about 2pm. And I was just driving. I don't know why. I just thought of the... I was just like, oh yeah, that day he's like... <laughs> like <laughs> I don't know whether it's Gari Peng Day after the Gari Peng Day. It was after the Gari Peng Day. No, it was after the Gari Peng Day. But mm-hmm. it was a, day, a few days later. Yeah. And I, it just suddenly occurred to me. Like, eh? Wow, he damn poor. Yeah. Like, wonder how he's doing. Like, so poor thing. You know? Like, cause... My personal opinion of this whole thing, which I have been like wanting to say... And I, I haven't said it yet, but like I just feel like you have suffered so much more than what another person who have done the same crime would have suffered because you are famous. Mm. And we cannot blame the famous thing because this famous thing, it's very ungrateful to blame it because it has given us so much. Yeah. We get free shit, we get free travel deals, money. free food. It given us a very easy career that we enjoy doing. Mm. We get adoration from people. All these are priceless right it's great i love it so we have to take the bad that comes with it and the bad for him is extreme bad imagine the whole world thinking that you are a pedophile that literally almost nothing can be worse than that for anyone's reputation right and for someone who has done the exact same thing he could have gotten away with maybe jail time a fine whatever done nobody else in his life needs to know about this they don't need to know. It's his dirty past. He don't recopy it. Nothing happens. But for him, everyone knows. And I just was thinking, I am my decosh very poor thing. Lah, okay. And then like, still on top of that, very poor, right? So I was just like, okay, you know what? I will transfer him $1,000. So until 11 p.m. or something, I forgot about this. I said already, I forgot. Then I was like, this fucking bastard, t bai. <laughs> I never texted you. Yeah. No, thank you. Nothing. Eh. No, because the Until notification came in, never came in. Okay, but never mind. La. So I assume that that's what happened, right? So I texted him. I was like, Jibai, you never see. Ah. Not that, that. Then he was just like, what? What thing? <laughs> and I was just like, uh, check your pay, pay now or something. Yeah. I said something like that. Then, then he was just like, oh my God. Like, Then he took a long time to type out this message. And it was like, I don't know, something about angels. It was a very long, heartfelt message. La. It was something like, Actually, this morning I had left with like, I don't know, 48 cents oh. or something like that. And then some, some something about a dream of an angel. No, I think like, it, was, like, it was like divine. Like I said, something along the lines of like, God is never early or too late. It's always on time. Right. Yeah. yeah. Something along that line. Yeah. Because it's, it's really quite amazing. And I know a lot of people are watching this not religious and you're not religious. But yeah. it's always when I got nothing ready. Uh, mm. Out of nowhere, someone will be like, hey. I remember reading, I was just like, okay, well, it's very nice. Like, she's thank you, you're a good mm. friend, blah, 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 right? So that, that part was nice. But then a little bit of me is just to be like, why is it that I do something, but God gets credit eh? <laughs> no. It's me eh? Uh, I know, I know it's you. I know it's you. But, <laughs> yeah, but for a religious person, okay. it was God who pushed you into thinking okay, la, maybe, that. La, because why would I be thinking about sending yeah, you money right? or driving? La, but, exactly. Yeah. Mm. Then I need to ask God, like, why are you doing this to me? Will you go and ruin my bank account? Eh? <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of friends, how did your friends react? Um, like industry friends or friends so, friends? A- anyone. I anyone think my, my close friends, like, who I could explain to 
immediately were okay. Because mm. I think once you explain that, you know, this is what really happened, they're mm. like, oh, okay, so you didn't really have sex with them. Right. You know, and, and it was a mistake and stuff like that. Mm. Um, but there were a few industry friends who decided to make statements. Mm. And, you know, and some of them gave me a heads up, like, hey, we're going to make a statement. Right. Then I'm like, sure, go for it. Okay. You need but to save your own ass. You no need. Like I said, no need. But it's nice enough that you'd say it. Okay. But some of them just out of nowhere, just pop, statement. What do you mean, who? Like, <laughs> Miss Tabitha Lauza. <laughs> oh, yeah, right. Like, uh, we're not even that close friends. We okay. don't, I've only hung out with you like two times in my what whole life. What statement did she make? She like, made a whole statement like, oh, I don't agree with sexual harassment. I'm like, okay. Okay. Uh, okay. why are you making a statement? Yeah, like no one is asking it. you yeah. to make a statement. Like NOC, right. I understand. Right. Or like say Nathan Hartono, I understand because yeah, yeah. we were friends back then. Mm. Um, but that bit of another why? <laughs> like, you know, like because she, she wanted uh, your position. I don't know whatever it is. <laughs> and then there were yeah, there were just some people who were friends who I wish would have reached out to me first to clarify things before making their statements, but they didn't. Um, so I was very disappointed in that. But then again, these are industry can friends. Can name or can I name? I don't want to name. It's like, you didn't make a statement. Yeah, I didn't make Then a statement. how did you make a statement? Right. Here's he didn't make a statement. Right. These are all my close friends eh. Mm. So why are these non-close friends making statements? Because they want to... I don't know. You answer the question. The train you know what of I mean? cloud. I don't understand. But right. whatever lah. You do you, boo. We don't, we don't... I mean, I don't talk to them anymore anyway. So, you know? You know, they, they do that because they feel that at that point, you are a goner and you you have no power. I guess. What I guess. can you do? Like, who cares what Dikosh says about his friends? When everything's about me. Right, time. yes. Mm. At that point, you have too much of your own trouble to mm, be dealing mm, with. Mm, and mm, I think mm. they are fully aware of that. Whether in future, you will retaliate or not with your arsenal of evidence or like whatever, right? It's another thing lah, right? <laughs> Which let's, I let's, don't think I will. Let's not... inject some fear into them. He might. <laughs> He might. I really don't before think he I jumps know. off the balcony, if anything I will just else happens, tell everyone. you are just made as well, right? Because you were <laughs> fucked up to him. I when like my cancellation happened and people were jumping out to say this and that. Like sometimes it's like people whom I felt that I was nice to. Mm. Like maybe not close friends. None of my close friends really truly betrayed me. Uh, but it it just feels like what the fuck? Like why are you doing this? Why are you kicking someone when they're down? Especially if I was nice to you. Like the hell? And for know? what? Yeah, like you're such a fucking fucked up person, you know? Like you're just riding on this for yourself because you can. Because I'm down now. And one day if I'm up again, I'll fucking punch you in the face, right? But yeah. But you've never. And she would never. I might, yeah. No lie, I suppose. <laughs> I don't remember already. Okay, good thing about me is I have very bad yeah. memories, so I'll forget. But I don't need you to be my friend, right? Like I don't need you to be there for me throughout this whole thing. But right. before you make a statement and you have my number, wouldn't you wanna like isn't the Clarify most first. isn't the most right. natural thing to be like, oh my god, D, do you really like do touch those kids? Days. Like yeah. is yeah. this real? Are you really a pedophile? Yeah. Isn't that not the most natural reaction? But you yeah. couldn't even afford me that. Right. You just went to make a statement. Right. So you do you boo. Yeah. I don't care. You happy can Let's talk about uh your charges. So okay. at the end of the day, what are your final charges? So, um, that I got charged for in court, it's one charge under the Children's Young Persons Act, which is a 15-year-old one. Mm. Um, which is accusing you of trying to have sex with him by paying him money, right? Correct. The okay. attempt to. Attempt the communication to. of. Okay. And then there is 376B, which is um, the attempt to procure commercial sex from, from someone under 18. Okay. For 17-year-old. Yeah. Okay. Mm. And then there's a Films Act. Mm. The video that I vi- recorded with that guy, mm. and then there's the porn. What porn? Having porn on yeah, your yeah on your phone, just computer. general porn. Yeah, like, like not like child porn or anything. No, like. definitely not. Okay, no. so what like the newspaper reported was it all these charges? Was it correct? Like what they said? That that's a that's a very like icky like thing, right? Like they will report the charges. Mm. Like they will say, Dikosh was charged. Um, uh, uh, under the Children and Young Persons Act mm. for sexually exploiting a person under 18. Mm. That's technically the charge. La. Right. Like, you know, the overarching charge. Right. But they don't talk about the detail. Like, the detail is not the headline. Okay. Which is, the detail is, it's not the whole, I didn't get charged from that. Mm. The main charge is uh, CYPA 8B. B, okay. Which is the attempt to. Attempt to. So, yeah. when you say out the the 
the header, it, it sounds, sounds like, like I have sex with kids. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. Okay, Which okay. is quite misleading, I would say. Yeah, like, okay. you know? Yeah, but like, it's like trying to, but didn't. Right, okay. Yeah. So, something like that. Okay, we need to talk about the, the video. Mm. Because I know you already did talk about this mm. in your own podcast, but for those people who are freshly watching it, let's remind them what, what was it about. Okay. Short um, summary. Yeah, in a nutshell, the video was of me and this guy who was like 20 plus, 23. Mm-hmm. So, not underage? Definitely not underage. And it was of us having consensual, not even anal sex, just like blowjob. Mouth stuff. Okay. Um, and Mouth stuff? <laughs> yeah, mouth stuff. And the crazy then. thing is, no, it wasn't 69. Oh, okay. it was no. <laughs> um, the crazy thing is, this was the same guy who. Part, he was part of the eight people who reported me to the police. Okay. And he was the one who said that allegedly I raped him. Okay. Okay. And um, this is not a definite thing. Like, I'm not sure if this is the reason why the rape allegation was never charged. But the video clearly showed that. Can you not open with that? You need to say that I did. Yes, you got raped or never raped? Never. Okay. Yes, that's yes, important. Never, never. Okay. Let's <laughs> yes, open duh. with that. Okay. Yeah, no, didn't like, rape this guy. Didn't rape. Okay. But the video was the evidence to show that there was no rape. Oh, okay. And so, in a very weird way, I regret that I made that video. I regret that, you know, it's it's against the law and I made that video. But if the video wasn't there, we would not be here talking. You will be in jail for rape. It's la. either I would be in jail or I'll still be fighting the case. Oh, you know you're going to rot on. Uh. Yeah. yeah. So, like, why did you film him? Because it was a bit weird. There was a gut feeling I had that, like, you better film this because he's weird. In case he... He, he come says out and say things. That I raped him. Like at the back of your mind, didn't you think, but filming him is also illegal, then I will also get fucked. Because in my head, the video will never come out, uh. To me, it's like lesser of like the, the lesser of two evils, lah. Okay, okay, yeah. okay, okay. Which in the end, years later. It was true. Yeah. I, I another thing I wanna talk about, sorry that the video is getting a little bit long. I hope you guys are still entertained, okay? Like I, I really wanna talk about how the legal system works. Mm. Because while this may be a bit of a sensitive topic, because but but is this system works worldwide? Like every does it really? I think so. All, all law systems I think work okay. the same. Uh, so it's not specific to Singapore or anything. But it's just cause I got to know this case and uh, you're my first criminal friend actually. I think like I don't before you. I think I don't know anyone who went to jail. You're welcome. So like all the other cases that I know about are civil cases. So first criminal one, and then I realized that this is how charges work and this is something that I want to share with you guys because in case you commit a crime in future I think this is very useful yeah, knowledge I think it is I think la. everyone should know yeah you should know how charges work okay so what happens is let's say I decided to burglar a house because I really need a mo- the money right so I unlock someone's door I go inside I steal an iPad and let's just say you go to the house uh. you steal the thing uh. and then you leave the house then a dog died Oh. <laughs> oh something like that. Okay, okay, okay. Something okay. separate, la. Yeah, something, separate. separate. Okay, something separate. Something separate. So mm. they, they claim that I also killed the dog. La. Yes. Okay. So uh then now I'm charged for two things, like abuse of animal, right? And burglary, right? So now what do I do? Because when I want to fight the case and I plead guilty, I'm pleading guilty to these two things, but I never kill the dog, right? Correct. Oh, that's stupid. Okay. Correct. Yeah, but I never kill the dog. Right? But now it will be known to me that if I agree to plead guilty, I, for example, first time offender, like what shit, okay, I get two years. If, but if I don't plead guilty and I try to defend myself, right, uh, the maximum that I can get is 10 years. So now I'm given this gamble that I have to take, lah, whether I just plead guilty and just admit to also killing the dog, right, which I didn't, or fight the case over a minor, more minor thing, lah, like, you know, the, the dog dying, right? It's actually not minor, but okay, the other part, which is not true. But I did commit the crime of stealing the iPad anyway, right? So do I risk 10 years? Because I can't really prove that I never killed the dog, right? So, okay, like that. Lah. Then, now, most people who commit crimes, if you want to plead not guilty, you have to spend a lot of money on lawyer fees. It's a lot. It's a lot of money. And it is a very long drawn out process. Very long. So to wait for the trial to happen, your life is in limbo, Mm. right? And what happens is when this all goes on the newspapers, if they report about you, you're sweet enough to kind of report it, they will say, Cheng Yen Yen Wendy is caught, uh, is charged for killing a dog and also stealing an iPad. Correct. Burglary and abuse of animals. Okay, both, right? Mm. Now, anyone who reads the article is going to think, I did both things. But I'm only guilty of one. 
like and I cannot really defend myself because when people see it's a charge even though you're innocent till proven guilty right they automatically think you did it already although they are pro, pro bono lawyers yes but I think a lot of people just decide that they are just going to plead guilty even though you have to write a statement of facts right so statement of facts meaning I Wendy Chang confessed to uh, at this date going to the house stealing an iPad and at the same time murdering the dog but right. here's the thing, you don't write it. Right. The prosecution writes it. Okay, and I have to sign off on it. Correct? Okay, and I don't get a say in how they phrase it, what they write. All I can do is to contest this statement of facts. Okay, and then if you do contest this statement of facts, it's called a what? Newton trial? Newton trial. Where you still plead guilty, but you want to change certain things in the statement. But I was told also that if you... You have to go to trial for this, ah, so you still have to hire a lawyer to fight for this. It takes almost the same resources as actually not pleading guilty anyway, yeah. right? So a lot of people don't do that. And it is slightly, I would say, unfair to people who are poor because they cannot afford to hire a good lawyer to fight for themselves. Uh, they may not be able to get a pro bono one to do it, I don't know. And then, just like that, they will just sign off. And so till today, after this case, I have come to realize that there might be more people that you think who have confessed to things and maybe they did some part of it, but not everything that they confessed to. Because they had to. Because they had to, and because it is it is the lesser evil, which is I don't waste time for the trial, I don't waste money, I confirm get this amount, which is less jail time that I could what I could possibly get. Like mm. lose all my money fighting the case, and at the same time I still don't win the trial and I get maximum punishment because the court decides not only are you not guilty, uh, not only are you guilty. You're wasting a court's resources. Correct. You're wasting right? their time. You're wasting their time. How dare you, right? So I'm gonna give you like ten years, you motherfucker. So like that, lah, like that. So yeah, and I, I think it's very sad, lor. It happens to most, lah. Like I mean, you've been in jail, right? And yes. you talk to them, and most people will just tell you what their case is, and then you hear their story, and you're like, holy shit! It happens more often than not. Right. You know, and because like you said, lah, not everyone. Do most people there are they? Did they plead guilty or they're gone? Most gone? people plead guilty. Okay most people like the, like out of 10 I've only met like one that went to that trial went to trial because okay. they are like rich uh-huh. usually the rich people go to the trial but all these normal people who get to fights and they just be guilty mm. yeah and then it just tax law and then you just go in was supposed to go to this court mm. uh, day and then the morning off at 7am I realised I got COVID <laughs> yeah <laughs> for yeah. the first time in my life okay yeah. so I was just like Tao you know, yesterday's like sore throat was not getting better and I woke up, I was just like, I better test. Because yesterday night I tested, it was negative. Then in the morning, I was like, oh no, there's a very faint line. But good lah. So I didn't go to his trial. So yeah. the, the, like how was it? Like, <sighs> it was like... Did you have friends going with you also? Your I had. Went, do, okay. do I say her name? Sure. Can I say her name? I don't know. <laughs> so it was uh, two friends right. plus Hui Wen. Oh, he's <laughs> sitting there. Sitting there. Um, and it's, you know, she did the worst thing okay. <laughs> ever. <laughs> okay, so the night before, we had dinner, remember, at my place. Yeah. It was like the last supper kind of vibe. Yeah. Oh, we all... what did we eat? Ah? I, know, sir. I can't remember. Yeah. We had, like, just, just spent time with my family. I think it was too tired. I can't remember, lah, okay? Mm. Then, um, my family had decided that my mom was not allowed to go. Because mm. it's, I think, for a father to see something like that is one thing, but for a mother, mm-hmm. like, you would know your mom, right? Like, I want it to will, go, uh. Yeah, but it will kill you in a certain way that it wouldn't kill any other person. Really, man? You know what I mean? Right. Then, um... <laughs> then during dinner, when we told my mom agreed that mm. she won't go, mm. uh, one was there. <laughs> and then she said, uh, my mom said, okay, you go for me, then you make sure he knows that. Uh, you'll be my eyes of love. <laughs> That's what she said. Okay. Then this bitch, <laughs> right before I went in, or right before they left the car, she did this, you know, she did. She looked at me and she was like, What the? Oh, shit. I'm sorry, I don't, know, I, don't know, I don't know why you are like crying. Because it's like, so funny. Like, it's, like, she didn't even remember she did that. But like, I kept, like, that scene I can never, like, take away from my head. Okay. Yeah, so it's like when she did that eyes of love, I was like, wow. I'm oh, sorry, it's damn cringe. Eh? I know it's very cringe, but like <laughs> it's damn cringe, but it's it was a bit like 
I would have laughed there. <laughs> I didn't laugh. I was crying. Uh. Uh. But like, I, like, my mom wasn't there, but yeah. I know that. Chu Hui Wen. Yeah. She's sending her love. And, and it rem- reminded me of right. her, you know? Yeah, yeah. So that was, that's what sucked. And then after that, right after they left, that's when like, they handcuffed me and brought me downstairs and mm. locked up and then prepared to go for Changi CK. Okay. You went yeah. in there with what? Were you wearing like suit or something? Uh, no, they playing? change you at court. Okay. So you're wearing shorts and a t-shirt oh. and slippers. Is- so then that's it long and I got eight months. Mm. Went in and finished it. How do you prepare yourself for jail? I was Did, not prepared. Uh. I really went. You're not going to train. No, uh, la, I was not prepared. La. Like, how can you? Should, it's like NS. Right. Like, everyone has different stories. Everyone will tell you a different story, but you're right. never going to experience it until you go in really, and man? experience it yourself. Yes. Okay. Everything everyone said was total People bullshit, by the way. People go like, self-defense classes. No, la, like no, la, no, la, no. La. But I was really broken. Uh. Like, I was really... You want to see a video? Yes. This is Siasha exclusive. Eh? Okay, I have not seen this video. Yeah. This is this what, was the what day. Is this, what is this? Is it the sex video with the guy? No! <laughs> it's the day right before I went in. And you know what? I'm you know what? Let's just show it. Okay. I'll show it to them also. I'll send it to you, then you put it in the video. Okay. Uh it's three minutes long, la. Three minutes? Yeah. Wow, fuck, you look like shit. I feel la. like a Gen Z doing this. You say what I feel like Gen Z doing yeah. this. Yeah. But um, Why so watery? I just like, messaged. Okay. I just messaged oh. everyone on WhatsApp. Like a. Uh, oh, you were so fat. Eh? Was. Simple like goodbye message. Because sentencing is gonna be on Thursday, and I wanna spend tomorrow, which is Wednesday, oh, right. with the people I love. And finally, I feel like the sadness of. This past two years just crashing down on me, and mm. I know I fucked up, you know. But you didn't know you would fuck up that. I have to like technically pay for my sins that some even I did not commit, you know. But really, with the Joker, like. <laughs> Like, I don't know if I'm crying because it's finally over. Like I know that on Thursday when I go to jail it's finally like done. <laughs> like the past two years of me suffering with no money and <sighs> like it's finally done. <laughs> or is it like the fear of going to jail? Like who wants to go to jail? No one wants to go to jail, you know? <sighs> Spend tomorrow with my family and the people that I love my family mainly and this was before our dinner right <sighs> you recovered well huh? Roman's here <laughs> Roman's the only one who's seen everything right he's just like he's just <laughs> then when you came back, he's like, where is the fat fuck? He's not there. <laughs> so yeah, I was very scared la. Like, yeah. I think deep inside, I didn't want to show it to anyone, but I was very scared and I didn't want to go to jail. Right. Like, there was a, it's a, it was a slither of hope in me that, that the judge would be like, mm, I will give you a fine. Don't do it again, please. Don't be stupid. Yeah. You know, can you not message these young boys anymore? Right. You know, stop. Yeah. And I hope these two years have taught you enough. Yeah. Here's a fine of $50,000. Right. You know, go away, stop wasting my time. Right. You know, but then when, when I remember when he said, when she said, mm. eight months, my heart sank. Right. I was like, holy, holy shit, shit. Yeah. you know? That's a long amount That's of time. That's a long time. I, I felt that when I was talking to you and like, you were just more or less like, not on that day itself, but like, in general, just happy that like, you know, you were upset at certain things, like how the statement of facts at certain things that you didn't do, uh, you know, but you still have to sign it and how the media was treating you at that time and all these things were upsetting. But you were generally happy that finally the day is here. I mean, objectively, yes. Yeah, because you, know? you would go to jail, you pay your price. Yeah. And that's that la. And mm. like when I heard about all of your things, all that was like, very sad, like self statues, all this is all sad. But like what really sort of affected me was you saying that you don't dare to, you know, walk even like, 
close to families mm. and don't that get dare to get into a lift with a family with children. I, mean, I told you like yeah. I was uneasy with your son. Right. Right. Like I, I like we, during the whole thing we go to a house a lot and mm. whenever he's there I just feel uneasy. Right. Like, I don't know how you want me to interact with him. You, okay. Firstly, you don't talk that to dash much. But I, like, I know, but I don't because of. Oh. You know what I mean? Like, because right. I don't know, like... But I mean, if I have an issue, I wouldn't, like... Definitely lah. Yeah, right? yeah, definitely. Yeah. But, uh, uh, like, there's that uneasiness of, like, you know how our other friend I hear is so, like, you know, with Dash is so, right. like, Dash was... I'm just a bit, like, uh... Wait, wait, let's talk which, about... Which I wanna, yeah. like, jump in also, right? And this is not to defend myself or whatnot, like, but why are people so adamant about me being a pedophile? Like, right. isn't it... Should, shouldn't it be a relief that... Oh, hang on, he's not a pedophile. I think people are just like, they just hate pedophiles and they already... I do too. Right, but they, they already applied this hate to you. Right. And then they are very scared of you and they think that you are a menace to society and... No. Yeah. They are a menace to society and that you... Everyone should know about this. Mm. And just in case you are... They would rather just take that route. Right, and they don't really see how it is very unfair to someone who isn't. Yeah. You know? Yeah. So in that sense, it's it's really jalat lah for you. Mm. I must say you're already quite strong lah. Very jalat. Okay, so let's talk a bit about jail now. Okay? okay. So how is the, your, like when you first went in, like, yeah. how was it like? It was tough at first. I Tell think... me about the process. Do they defleece you like they did in Shawshank Redemption? No, no, okay. no. Um, so they because of COVID, yeah, they shave your, oh no, 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 no. shaving happens after. Uh -huh. So because of COVID, the first thing that happens is they isolate you. Okay. For like seven days. Why can't they just test you first negative and like... You test, okay. negative, isolation. Then if you test again, uh -huh. then you get out. Yeah. Okay. It's just the system that works, okay. right? right? In fact, the original, apparently when first COVID first hit, it was 21 days old. Oh. Yeah. And so it's bad, uh, this isolation. It's then bad. Uh, the, Why, uh? the rooms are just horrible. Why? Like, it's smaller. You get a solo room, one. Yeah, but you're alone. With no entertainment. Okay. For it's how horrible. long? Like 24 hours? Yeah. 24 hours? Yeah. Nothing. You don't do. go out. I mean, they give you books, lah. Oh. Yeah. What kind of books do they give oh, you? Oh, so I read um, Love of the Rings. That's nice. Oh, but again, it was really good. It's yeah. from the prison or like. From the prison. Oh, wow. At the that's time. Great. So it's from the library. I read a lot of Diane, uh, Danielle Steele. Oh, that's nice. She's very too. good at eh? it. Isn't it very sexual? No, books? no. Oh, no. Ah. She's not very sexual. She's damn good. That's okay. Sydney Sheldon, different. Okay. Yeah. Oh, so, I love that. that author. Um, so, anyway, so you read a lot of books, and after seven days, you go out, and then they place you in a a holding unit mm. um, that's where there are more people mm. so you're either in an eight-man cell or a four-man cell right so I was in an eight-man cell um, for at least I would say 90% 80% of my, my my sentence and then 20% they put me in a four-man cell okay yeah how do you decide whether you go for it it's I don't know how the system works I thought Kong he go on solo, uh, solo no cell. I don't think he has a solo cell he was not he was oh. in the same HU as me he would, mm. I heard rumors about him are you going to say or no? You want me to tell you? Say lah! So apparently, right? Uh -huh. <laughs> so Kong Hee... Eh? So, no, it's not! Okay. It's not fun! Sorry, okay? Sorry. So apparently Kong Hee, right? And by the way, if you want to hear more of these prison stories, go um, follow my... Rumble. No, not Rumble. It will huh? be mostly on Spotify. Oh, I've done okay. much more. Mm -hmm. I have many more. Anyway, so apparently he was in charge of newspaper. Mm. So he like blank the newspaper. Why am I Censor ma. They will censor some things ma. Like if it's like sensitive topics, they will censor. Huh? Just just jail, okay? Just take okay, it. Okay, There's okay. no logic to it, okay? okay? So apparently, his members sent him a lot of books. Because uh -huh. you know, you sent me books. She yeah. sent me a lot of books. She sent me Percy Jackson, The Magicians. What else you sent me? Uh? They're not interested. Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. Oh, that's good, right? That was really good. Yeah. Anyway. Okay, yeah. So, um, then he... So in, in prison, after your sentence, you usually just donate the books. Like, half of the books you mm. sent me, I donated to the prison. How dare you? Yeah, I'm sorry. What if I want it back? But, okay, but they, okay. want, they want to read it, you know? The okay. people that are bought. Okay. And they love Percy Jackson. Right. So, let them read lah. So, um, apparently, Kong Hee, right, when he left, right, mm. he took all his books with him. And... and that's shocking because why? Because it's not like two stacks, eh. Apparently, they needed like two trolleys to carry all his books out, eh. Uh-huh. That's how many... It was a... Like, he was there for three years, books, right? yeah. a lot of books lah. Yeah. Yeah. Then people are like, Chima, this motherfucker don't want to leave anything behind. Not mm. one, eh. he took everything. Eh. <laughs> but maybe he want to donate to the church. Like, no, hey. people in prison are like, I'm selfish. <laughs> <laughs> Never donate. <to> <laughs> like, they, no, because like, when I gave my books, right, mm. I was like, uh, no, nah, this one just donate. They were like, wow, Dika, so, uh, what, yeah. give donation. Eh. 
So what's the word ah? Generous ah, uh. not the donkey eh. <laughs> He's the best mark, the kiam best mark. Really, eh? That's fucking Horrible. hilarious. Uh. Yeah. Okay, did he preach in church or not? Uh, no, he wasn't allowed to. Oh, so yeah. cannot lah. Okay. So, but it's not like the DNA, uh, the CNA documentary, right? Because we saw that one. The CNA documentary is a very played up version of prison. But those people are in solo cells. Yes, it's very different. Okay, solo why? cells are different. Why so, are they? Solo cells are like the long term guys. So okay. like anything more than a year or five years. So okay. they, they are usually like... Serious, serious like murder or like okay. So do those are usually put in solo cells. So mm. those guys are there for a very long time. But even the long timers, right? The way I watched the documentary, this is it's a very played up version. Okay, it's a very Singapore version. Okay, like, you know there was this scene where the 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 the, the officer comes in and he sees all these illegal things on the wall uh, uh, uh. and he's like, sorry, this is not allowed. And he Basically, takes it down. Yeah, girl, if they did that in jail, girl, the officer will probably like what does that be mean? Beaten up or something. What does that mean? Because it's it's a cohabitant, like they, they cohabitate with each other, the officers, I mean the wardens and the, okay. the prisoners. Okay. So it's like if I close my eye on you sticking whatever you want on okay, the wall, okay. you don't give me problems. Okay, okay. Correct? Okay, okay. If I take it down, yeah. you will start giving me problems. Oh. Correct? So like small, small things, they will shut one eye. Correct. Right? Small things, they will shut one oh. eye. Especially for these long timers, because these guys are not out in four months. These guys right. are out in years. What is one month to them? Nothing. Oh, right. You know what I mean? Right. So it's like, I just want a picture of whoever Sonia Chu right on the wall right you tell me to take it down it's not hurting anyone right you tell me to take it down I will beat someone up tomorrow oh. and cause problem for you okay, okay, and the okay. amount of reports you have to write and you know ah, what I mean so it's like okay. a very it's like, is it the right word yeah, they yeah, cohabitate yeah, yeah. Like, no it's, just, it's like this. it's uh, an ecosystem kind of like you I watch your back you watch mine yeah, yeah, yeah something like that yeah yeah, like, oh. Mm, okay, yeah. okay. Oh, by the way. Yes. This is a fun question. Right. The top three women in prison. This is going to be like a TikTok that people take out. Right. Basically, these are the women that, the men in prison, mm -hmm. um, because they have access to magazines mm -hmm. every now and then, they will cut out the magazine pictures and they will paste on the walls. Mm. Like, they wank too? Uh? Uh, well, I don't know. I cannot confirm or deny. Okay. They, they wank. But these are the women that... I mean, oh, because, they don't even paste uh, with rice? Uh? Rice glue. Okay. We make the rice glue and stuff. Okay, wow. Um, so, so DIY. <laughs> so, they... I've, I've been to a lot of cells because short timers, they move you around all the time. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Right? They don't want you to form clicks. And then the pictures are still on the wall. The pictures are just everywhere. Okay. Like, oh my god, it's her again. So, so you wallpaper with all the... Not a lot lah. Like, like for example, like it's just la. one picture of and like, the And person. the people allow it lah. Like close one eye lah. Uh, okay. You know, if you put too much and they be like, guys, what the hell? Okay, okay. Like, okay. better okay. take this down. Then okay. you have to take it down. Okay, okay. If you put one there, they be like... <sighs> okay, You know? Okay. Uh -huh. Yeah. Okay, so at number three... Yeah. This is a bit odd to me because like attractive wise she's on the scale is not but she does a lot of magazine covers so it makes sense. Okay. Sonia Chu. <laughs> okay. People love Sonia Chu. Eh? Her name big me high. I don't know they just but, but she does a lot of magazines you right. see so she's very popular in jail. Okay. In fact when they heard that I used to do radio like, hey so you know Sonia Chu? Ah? Hey, real life gone. Ah. <laughs> because they ask me things like that you know. <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm like, no. I love how he does this imitation of like jailmates. It's fucking hilarious. He's like, no, I just know her. Okay. And then, um, okay, so, Sonia Chu is number three. Yeah. Okay, and number two. No, you go with number one first. Why? Number one is very guessable. Number two that's is true, unguessable. That's true, that's true. And number okay. one. Which I managed to guess on she, first try. First try. Fiona Sie. It's very weird, like. Why? Because it's very old. No, magazine. but she still does magazine covers. Now, man? Yes. I didn't know that. Like, the. Everyone talks about her. Okay, There's this one picture of her holding a handbag or something and her, her left tit is like, just there. Oh, okay. That's like the under one the, ah. Yeah, just, that's the one in the toilets. Oh. Yeah. So the guys really like her. Yeah. I, think, I think since like the night, like this 90s, early 2000s, mm. maybe like she has always been a sex symbol. Mm, yeah. Since she was running down Orchard Road in a bikini. Mm. Yeah, so I think... I can't. Like, in prison, choice. icon. But when he told me about number two, like I never would have guessed. And when he finally told me the answer, I laughed them loud. <laughs> you would laugh. Oh, uh, <laughs> another um person to just say that she uh, pictures a lot. Uh, Fiona Fusi. Oh, okay. Also a lot because another, again, another magazine bait, right? Yeah. Everywhere, just her, her. But number two, number another two. person who's always on the magazine. Not an actress, not a model. Not an actress, not a model, but he, she is everywhere in prison. I'm telling you, like, they make fans out of her. They have the stickers of her. They People say, like, this is going to be my future wife. Uh, they Can say, you say it in a jail voice? Eh, they say, like, hey, this is going to be my future wife. 
This one. No, you thought this one like this said. one like this one like Paikia. No, you said this one. When I go, I go marry her. Yeah, yeah when I go, I go marry her. <laughs> Confirm. Then, then when 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 she announced the recent thing that happened to her, they're like, wow, hey, I got chance. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, stop. You just tell okay, him who it is. So number two is your good friend Kim Lim. <laughs> um, because she's just in so many magazines. Oh my god! And you know the thing about Kim is that she is she's not really particularly cute. See, like yeah. she's not the the sweet. But she's not like dog. sexy hot or so. She but is, she's uh, a boss she's, bitch. Like she's sultry. Yeah. The look that she's going for is always a bit like smoky. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. You know? But she's sexy in those. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. And I think the idea that she's this like princess, like they like, they like, like, they like. heiress, you know. And somehow they think that she likes Paikia. She does like Paikia. There you go, guys in prison. You have a chance. <laughs> you do. You do have a chance. What you is know? the number one rule in prison that people should know? Um, at night. How to survive? At night. In the middle of the night, don't flush the fucking toilet. What do you mean? Then just let it sting. No, you take the water and you, you slowly pour. Then the shit will still be floating. No, 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 no. It will go down. Eh, hey, jela the toilet system damn good ah. Oh, yeah. Like the sewage damn good. They have a clock, bro. You can throw orange down there and flush. It will go through. Okay. It's damn good. Then how the ventilation jail, system ah? Uh. Huh, top notch ah. Give Shan Wogam a raise. Why? Is he in charge of these things? No, I think he? he's minister of law, yes. The, the, yeah. the ventilation is damn good. Okay, can you imagine? Uh, this is you shitting, okay? Mm. This is my bed. Eh? Mm. There's this wall that separates us. Mm. Okay? Mm. And you're shitting. Uh, mm. I cannot smell it. How is it? There's a sucking thing? Or what? The, there's a ventilation at the wall oh. that sucks. Cannot smell a thing. Eh. That is amazing. It's fucking amazing. But oh. if, if you can smell it, that means that your shit is really jala. Like, oh, okay, okay. Or like you never flush or something like that. Right, right. But you usually cannot smell anything. All you hear is bloop. Uh, and you say don't flush in the middle of night, why? Like because it's very up. loud. Because uh-huh. the the floor, right, the the flushing thingy, whatever you want to mm. call it, the bowl, but okay. it's on the floor, okay. the squatting one, is metal. Mm. So when you're on the flush, which, uh, sorry, on the flush or the shower, which is right on top of it, you'll oh. and it echoes throughout the whole and place. People will be very and people will be like, follow him. Is there a lot of like gay sex in no. the jail? <laughs> no. <laughs> movies got a lot. Of I know. It's not like the movies. In Singapore prison, every cell, every corner, every nook, every cranny has a security camera. Toilet leh? Also got it's right there, like on top of you while you shower. Huh? Yes. There's no zero privacy. privacy. Yeah, zero privacy. Wang how? Just do it. Ah. It's not against the law. To I mean it wang. is. Okay. But like don't look at the thing and then like, uh, look at me. And splatter You know what I mean? Like just <laughs> Be discreet about it. How, how, how did you when you were there? Okay, so I only relieved myself uh, after the first week of isolation. I was like, oh, last day already. Better make sure like it's all on my system. So I oh, just okay. Myself. Then, uh, then during the staycation... So at least you were alone lah. Like, yes, time. But they I got never camera lah. Like. Yes, have. Okay, okay, okay. That's what I never did. The whole time? Yeah, I never did. For like five months. Mm. Then how? You get blue balls eh? No leh. They call it overflow, bro. Okay, what does that mean? Overflow, ah. Like wet dreams, ah. Ah, overflow. It's common, ah. Common. They will just wake up like, hey, Jimba, I cannot overflow, yeah. And they go into the toilet and wash, ah. Yeehee! <laughs> <laughs> when you drop the bus, you'll always get somebody pop you in. <laughs> you know what? Okay, <laughs> so this joke, it, this joke is just like, everywhere, right? Yeah. So let me just clear the air. And I know people are gonna, we should cut this part out and make it a TikTok. It'll go viral, okay? <laughs> in Singapore prison, when you drop the soap, uh-huh. the only thing that happens is you lose your soap. What do you mean? Why Which is it not? sucks. Because it goes in the toilet. Immediately. Because like I said, the shower is right on top of the, the, the you floor. You have to stand inside the not toilet. Not inside, but... like, you stand on like where the designated area is for you to stand. Uh-huh. But the toilet bowl is right there. Okay. So more often than not, a lot of people, while soaping themselves up, uh. drop the soap and it goes into the toilet bowl. Oh, shit. <laughs> she just spat on herself. Sorry, because I don't know. Okay. And then? And then, at that point of time, at that point, now you only get, you only get a, a bar of soap. Listen, stop laughing at my misery. You only get a bar of soap every two weeks once. Okay. Or sometimes even once a month. Okay. Depends on okay. where you are. Okay. okay, okay. So don't use a lot of it. Uh. Yeah, so, so it's, 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 it's an important resource. Okay. Because you have to wash your clothes. You have to wash the floor sometimes. With the soap? Sometimes, yeah. Sometimes, okay? If you want to wash your blanket, you have to wash, you know? You have to use the soap. So once you drop your soap in that metal squat toilet, Mm. there are two things you can do. First thing, just ignore. Okay, Okay, Sarah, Sarah, hopefully, you can ask for a new soap. 
Mm-hmm. Because you drop in the toilet, mm-hmm. or your friends have extra soap, you can have take. Okay. Or you just put your hands inside. Can take out. Uh? Can take out. Because the the flush is like that. So the soap will technically drop and it won't go up ma uh-huh. unless you so it will be stuck here. Okay, you bend. Correct. Okay. So you just hold your breath, get in there, take your soap, wash it off, and continue showering. Which I did like a few times. No way. Yes, okay, way. so when you put your hand in there. It's slimy girl. You kinda like toilet paper all this and shit. No, 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 no. It's very like I said. It's very it's damn good, bro. Oh, okay. So the water it's is just, strong. It's just slimy. It's just slimy. Fuck. Yeah. So disgusting. So that's okay. what happens when you drop your soap. Nobody pokes you in the fucking backside. <laughs> it's not. It's just I don't know where this rumor came from, where this started. If but I see you digging there with your ass up in there, I'll totally like Oh you would. I would totally like smack you. Oh, I thought you would have sex with me. Anyway. <laughs> Yeah, so no, the the whole poking bags I think it's not a it's a it's a mm. myth. So you were in jail for like five months. Mm-hmm. Like now that the experience is over, rated upon five. <laughs> of course zero la. <laughs> I'm talking zero. About. It's so bad, la. I mean like it's, like I would never do it again. I would never want to go back. I would never want to go back. But when you're in there, I think it is very important if you're I mean if you're going to go right, it's very important to Learn how to see, look at the glass half full mm. and try to find the little things that make you happy. Mm-hmm. If not, you will not survive. There are a lot of people inside who are just very depressed. Is it going to confirm or lose weight? No, some people gain. Huh? Yeah. Then how come you lost so much because weight? Because they, they give you a lot of rice. Okay. With your food. And the food, by the way, is not bad. Okay. Yeah, so uh, they give you a lot of rice. So a lot of people uh, like to eat a lot of rice. Mm. So that's what makes you fat. Oh, yeah. so you didn't eat a lot of rice? I, at first, I wanted to lose weight, ma. Yeah. So I half the rice, then I quarter the rice. Mm. So I just ate a bit of rice. Oh. And then I exercised a bit. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. Mm. So like, towards the end, was it actually getting better for you? Like, you sort of got used to it, right? Mm, yeah, I mean, I'm, a, I'm like a chameleon, right? Like, you mm. throw me in, you throw me in a rich person's house, after a week, I'll be a rich person. Oh. You know what I mean? I'll just like become like, oh, that's Ooh. how it would be. You know what I mean? Okay. You throw me in a poor person's house, I'll just become a poor person. Okay. Like, I just adapt very well. To be honest, there was a part of me that didn't want to get out. Even though it was horrible. Even though it was horrible. There was a part of me that was afraid of coming back out. Because there's so much I have to deal with. Yeah, yeah, of like, course. Really and a then lot, the eh. reality of having to work again. Mm, finding money, work, the yeah. money, you know, and what people are going to say about me. Right. So December 25th was Christmas. Right. Christmas, they let us out, the Christians out. Mm. So they go by your religion and your mm. name. Um, and uh, we went to watch Spider-Man Homecoming. That's nice. Yeah, so we were watching. And there was this guy that came up to me. Um, and this was like a few weeks before I was being released. Mm. So, um, a few days actually. Mm. Before I, so I was getting ready mentally and I was not ready. La. I okay. was telling myself, maybe I should just like punch a guard or something. And I'll extend <laughs> one month, you know? Like, I felt like I wasn't ready to go back out. Into, Why the guard? Why not a fellow cellmate? Like, because you will get charged la. longer ma, oh, if you hit a guard. guard. Like a, a, a warden. So poor thing, he's gonna get aimed just because. But I won't hit him, I'll just hit him like. Eh? Oh, okay, <laughs> okay. He won't get hit very bad. Okay. Anyway, so what happened was I met this guy. Mm. He 36, 37. He fell in love? No. Okay. Um, so in prison, if you have the same charges with different people, you sort of have this like commonality between you. So for example, if you go for pri- to prison for Along, ah. I go to prison for Along. Yeah. Even though we're not friends, we sort of have that. Hey, commonality you know what okay, I mean like yeah. so how was your case how did your lawyer fight how did ah, my lawyer fight okay, okay, thing, okay, you know? okay, okay. I never had anyone like that for yes. myself because usually people charged under my section go to jail for a very very long time because they actually had sex most of the time okay okay and so, in fact your case was actually a landmark case it was the first time yeah, someone charged yeah it's a charged. landmark case so, so someone got that's very interesting tests. because anyone who commits the same crime from now on will be benchmarked against D. Correct. So, yes. So, eight months minimum, guys. Hey, you'll be in textbooks, eh? Please, ah, uh, don't text people below 18. Eight oh. months. Yeah. You more or less also, you'll get less than eight months. Just saying. Oh, really? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Mm-hmm. Anyway, um, so I met this guy. Mm. Um, he pulled me aside to talk to me and then I found out that uh, according to different people outside 
um, of that cell, people told me that his case was he accidentally had sex with a 16-year-old girl. Accidentally? Yeah, so he thought he was, she was older. Oh, okay. Paid for sex and then... Paid? Yeah, and then found out she was 16. Okay. So I thought like, okay, sounds like mine, but he's, he's, he actually had sex. Okay. Um, he talked to me and then he revealed to me that actually his case was very, 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 very different. Mm. So his case was actually the fact that he had, well, he was a teacher. Mm. And I mean, if you Google him, you can find he was a teacher and he oh, had shit. sex with multiple teenage boys. Oh. And he was in for, since 2016. Okay. 18, 19, 20, long time lah. Right? La. Long time lah. Yeah. He has a few so you wouldn't be in your cell lah because your cell No, but so because Christmas time lah, we all oh, want so to okay, watch okay, okay. movie Okay, so he talked to you. And he talked to me like, we were on that same level. Like, oh, your case is my case. Oh, he he, he felt like he saw a kindred spirit He thought lah. Like, like, like I said lah, like, you know, in like, jail when you have the same okay. charge, you know. Okay, okay. And then he started saying things like, oh, mm. so how young do you like them? You know? Oh my god. Or like, or like, you know, when you go out, maybe we can share. You know, what does that mean? I don't know. It just sounds like he's going to do it again or something. I don't know. When we go out, we can share. Yeah. Boys. Like share resources, share yes. boys. Okay. Wow. And then, and then I felt very sick. Okay. I was sick. Oh my God, all my hair I stays, was yeah. speechless. And then I was very shocked at like what he was confessing to me. La. Right. Because he told everyone else a different case. Right. But he was telling me because he thought that we were the same person. Right. And that you wouldn't judge him because Correct. you are him, basically. Correct. So, at the end of the conversation, I told him, like, I just want to let you know that we are not the same. Like, there's a reason why you are here for years and I was only here for five months. Right. You know what I mean? Like, I'm not a pedophile. Right. I did not have you sex with anyone. Him, yeah. Like, I, I did not have sex with any of them. Yeah. You know? Yeah. And it was a mistake. Yeah. And it will never happen again. Right. And he got scared. Because all the stories that you heard about things that people do to pedophiles in jail, right. I'm not saying it's true, but... So that's why he lied about his case, ma. Right, because you don't want people to know. Correct. So uh, I told him, I just want to let you know that. And then he said, please, like he begged me basically, like, please don't tell people. Like, don't tell people about my case. And I said, yeah, sure. But you need to know that we're very different people. Right. And then I walked away and... Oh, it's so... Uh, so dirty that he yeah. talked to you like yeah. this creepy guy and, and the you want me to describe is... him yes. he's like very thin very tall and he's a bit balding I won't say his name because that's not fair 36, 37 okay, okay, okay. I think you and then whenever he's, he saw me after that he just he has this weird like it looks like a pedophile he looks like a pedophile you know so like creepy. anyway so ugly um, yeah, ugly yeah yeah, um, yeah. <laughs> okay yeah. and then so after when I walked away as Yo, I remember it was the finishing scenes of Spider-Man Homecoming, you know, when he was talking to mm-hmm. Doctor Strange and he was going to erase himself from everyone's memories, remember? No, I don't remember. You didn't? But maybe I didn't watch it, but anyway, sorry. Spider-Man Homecoming, he, he erased his memories from everyone. Thanks for spoiling it for me, but okay. I think I didn't watch it, I think. You suck, eh? Uh, this was supposed to be the beautiful part of that story, eh? Okay, okay, I got okay, it. Anyway, yeah, in the movie, he erases, so no one knows who Peter Parker is. Yes. Okay? So... During that moment, mm-hmm. like in the movie, mm-hmm. I remember feeling like this would be the best thing for me right now if I could erase everyone's idea of me, mm-hmm. but I can't. And we decosh. Uh-huh. And I can't. And I need to go back out there to clear my name. Right. And that's why I was like, no, I need to leave. I cannot extend. <laughs> okay, well, you wouldn't punch the water. Eh? Yeah, I'm not going to punch the water. I'm not going to hurt anyone. Oh my god, but it's so... And then after that, I went to everyone and told them that he's a pedophile. Because I'm not going to be there anymore. I was leaving in a few days. Right. Everyone else will be there for longer. So yeah. let them do whatever they want to How do. How long more till he comes out? I believe, I'm not sure. I think 20, 20 24, 25. Yeah. So if you Google his name, you can still You cannot find, find him. You cannot, why? Because uh, he's an MOE teacher. So he was. his name was, what's the word? Redacted. Why? To protect the school. Oh, mm. well, that sucks. That means that anyone might just employ him, including kindergartens as a swimming coach, things like that. I don't think like, he can work as a teacher anymore, though. I think he's okay. Yeah, maybe be, not. Yeah. We can work as tutor, like something that yeah, has to do with children. Creepy. It's so horrible. Yeah. What did he do exactly? Like, why is he he paid for sex with his students? He had sex with the students. He like invited them over to the house and stuff like that, and then he had sex with them. Uh. How old are they? 13, 14. 
Wow, yeah, this yeah. guy. And I remember, I remember, I remember this this very clearly because after the whole thing, I went back to my cell, which my friends are there, ma, and mm. then I vomited because I was so like I felt sick, mm. right? And then like I've never talked to a pedophile in my life, mm. and the fact that a pedophile thing things that, that I am like it got me angry and disgusted, you know, like yeah. this guy, this yeah. sick fuck, things yeah. that I am yeah. part of his community, yeah. Yeah. You know, so I, I remember I vomited and then my friend who was in the cell who uh-huh. was like, bro, you okay? Not? What happened? Like, uh-huh. I thought you just go out to watch Spider-Man. That is so traumatizing. And then I told him the whole thing. Then he said, Chiba, he lied to us. Huh? And I said, yeah, you tell me, I don't care. Wow. Yeah. Uh, so that was like the push I had to be like, okay, it's time to leave jail. It's time to tell my story. But whether or not people care, whether or not people want to listen, I don't care. As long as I've told my story. Wow, I'll be so fucking depressed after that. Were you very depressed after that? No, I had a new fire. I was like, let's go. Let's leave jail. Ah, really? Yeah. I'll be like, oh no. You have pedophile things. I'm a pedophile. I'm done for, you know. But then that's all the more reason for you to not kill yourself and no, continue No, but I'll on. just be like, I will feel one. Uh, even a pedophile things, I'm a pedophile. I'm dead. Uh. No matter how I like wash, I will never come clean. Uh. <laughs> like that, you know, depression. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I think we have more or less covered most of the questions. Mm. I think we did ask some like hard ones. Too. And I also uh, opened up my Instagram to ask people to ask the questions that they want to ask. La. But to sort of round up this interview, la, let's ask D, how is your life like now? <laughs> it's after different. You came out, la, after it's you came out. different. Can I ask you why you're maintaining this stupid I like jail, it. jail hairstyle? I like it. It looks great. Look, it's like you just want to keep reminding me. Hello, no. I went to jail. I just came out only. It's called a buzz cut. No, okay. but like you want to be NS boy or you want to be Joe Bird? Like it's either no, one of that. No, why can't I be Chris Brown? Okay, not a good example. But why <laughs> yeah. can't I be like Faris Jabba or Young Raja? They all have this hair. I'm pretty sure Young Raja's one got lines. No, but yeah, but the base of it is like this. Then you do the lines. At least it's better than this. Okay, I'll do the lines. Maybe yeah. I'll dye it. So I guess with that, we have come to the end of the video. How long is this video? Very long, very long. <laughs> so <laughs> I hope you guys are not too bored by it. I think it is quite interesting. Is it? It is. Because I think to most people, they don't know the details of the case and how complicated it is. And plus the whole jail thing, I think a lot of people are quite interested. Like, mm. I, I assume most people haven't gone to jail yet. If you want to hear more details, <laughs> tune in to... Stop where eh. Stop making use the of details. me. Eh. <laughs> So shameless eh. <laughs> hey, you're gonna get a lot of views from this eh. No lah, then I also am making use of it lah. So okay lah, scratch your back, you scratch mine lah. Alright. Okay, so yes. Anything else you wanna add before um, you go? No. You wanna just, just be like, I am thanks. not a pedophile! I'm not a pedophile and also like, I don't know, just... If you've watched to the end, hmm. I think that just shows that you're interested in the... To finding out the, the, the truth, truth lah. La, yeah. But I think till today, even when I'm seeing things that people are saying, they have a very, very superficial understanding of what actually happened. And it is way too long to explain the whole thing to them, right? Mm. So now we have this video out here. I don't even know if like they are going to bother watching. They, they, they won't. They, they will only just, watch 30 second TikTok. Yeah, so they will just remain obtuse forever mm. because it's a little bit too complicated, right? It's just like, uh, he's not a pedophile. How do you know he did this test? How do you know he never lied in the test? Okay, then uh, why did he get charged? You know, like mm. if he's not a pedophile, why he get charged? Yeah, we'll be scooty. You know, this thing like that. It's just like, ah, uh, how yeah. do I explain? At you know? this point, it's just like, you want to think of a pedophile, just okay, carry la. on. La. Yeah, so like that. La. Okay, mm. so thank you very much for watching till the end. If you have stayed all the way here with us, please subscribe to the channel, leave oh a my God, like. I haven't done this in such a long time. <laughs> Actually, I'll let you do it. La. <laughs> Don't forget to like this video. <laughs> I feel like crying. <laughs> Because I'm never going to be able to do this again. Right. Eh. Yeah, so if you guys forgot, like, uh, uh, not forgot, don't know, his channel got deleted by... Terminated, not Terminated, deleted. sorry. Uh, terminated mm, by YouTube. Mm. And he is banned from... Terminated that thing. people are not allowed to make YouTube channels. Oh, so not just deleted, it's terminated yeah. and banned. La, like, blacklisted, yeah. like, whatever. Persona non grata. Uh-huh. So any other form, you can come up with any new channel that is belongs to him, it will be reported and Correct. deleted. Mm. Yes, so he will never be on YouTube again. And I don't know, can you can't you fight this? Huh, I pay lawyers, eh? Again, oh my no, la, it's okay. La. And moral of the story is take a law degree. Take a law degree. And on mm. that note, hit the subscribe button, click a like, because <laughs> she's going to be uploading more videos soon. <laughs> I'm going to force her to do it. Okay, okay. Thank you very much, guys. Bye bye. What's that? Okay, subscribe. I feel like there's more. Subscribe uh. button, don't forget to comment, like.
Follow us on Instagram. Hit the thumbs up. Thumbs up. So you get a notification Instagram. every mm. time a new video. No, comes you up. hit the bell. To oh, get bell, bell, bell. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hit the thumbs up. Bell. <laughs>